Time now for The Brief, our weekly segment with the LA Times. This morning, we are looking at the new mini money craze called micro weddings, in which couples are getting married and holding a ceremony for less than the price of an iPhone. To tell us more about this is LA Times writer Marissa Gerber. Marissa, hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you all? Great. Thanks so much for being with us. So uh, tell us what exactly is a mini money and why are couples here in Los Angeles choosing them? Yeah, so a mini money is just what it sounds like. It's a mini ceremony, a mini wedding ceremony. And the couples I spoke with for the piece said they were choosing them largely for cost saving. You know, they said they're looking at family members that have spent 30, 40, 50 K on weddings, and they're looking at the housing market in LA and saying, wait, we can just save that for a down payment on a house or to travel. Um, so let's just, you know, have a, a tiny ceremony, maybe just us two at the beach, maybe us and a few family members. Um, and a few other people I spoke with said it wasn't only the cost savings, but also like, hey, I'm kind of an introvert and I don't love the spotlight anyway. The idea of, you know, 100, 200 people all in one place focused on me sounds stressful. So let's just have a, a smaller ceremony anyway. Well, and the pandemic had an impact on this. I know my husband and I actually had one of these as well because we couldn't get our family together at the time. It wasn't safe, but this trend is continuing even now that people do feel safe gathering. So explain a little more about that. Yeah, exactly. So as you say, a lot of couples, you know, during the pandemic shutdowns, those were kind of the only options, right? Maybe a small beach elopement, maybe just, you know, socially distance a few family members. But I think, you know, especially the people I talked to said, hey, we saw friends do this during the pandemic and it seemed like it was actually really relaxing for them. Or I spoke to an LA based officiant who said she married a lot of couples in beach elopements early in the pandemic shutdowns who told her, you know, that down the road, they plan to have a larger ceremony with their families, but she stayed in touch with them and they told her, you know what, we actually planned that we didn't need the larger ceremony. It was kind of nice to save the money and the stress and all that really matters is we're married. So we ended up saving that money for something else. That's great. And then in the article, um, you talk about and show some beautiful pictures of a place called the Old Brown House. It's a wedding chapel in Highland Park. Tell us a little more about this. What inspired the owners to open it? What was their vision? And just what are the weddings like there? Yeah, so it, like you said, it's a small wedding chapel in Highland Park. The owners, uh, Tess Sweet and Dan Gamblin, actually met at Burning Man in 2009 and to honor the you know, burning tradition of giving gifts, they started officiating free weddings at the festival. And it, you know, th this week every year was just like such a time of intense joy and fun for them. And they were had been brainstorming ideas like how can we incorporate that more of that joy into our daily lives? And they settled on officiating weddings. Both of them were at Career Path Roads and you know, Tess had been a filmmaker for years, was burned out on that. Dan had been a firefighter and paramedic for 20 more than 20 years and you know he told me something that really stuck with me and he said you know for for so many years I was there as a small slice of the worst day for so many people's lives and officiating weddings he was now a small part of one of the happiest days of their lives and that that kind of inversion was so powerful so they bought this chapel spent two years renovating it and opened it up um so I and my colleague Danya a photographer were there for their grand opening. Um, several couples, more than, or I think 12 couples got married that day. And, you know, the really special quick ceremonies, you know, oftentimes they met their officiant maybe literally two minutes before they actually got <laughs> married. Um, but the couples I spoke with said they had a blast. It was exactly what they had, had hoped for. It's so beautiful and I love the story behind it. Marissa, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. And you can read this full article by scanning the QR code on your screen right now. You can also find all the information for this segment on our website, kcalnews.com.